Hi, everyone. Welcome to classroom series of mathematics class with Zara. We are starting this series with SI units, which means International System of Units. This is a generally acceptable method of measuring quantities. For the purpose of this class, we'll be treating four quantities, which are length, mass, capacity, and time. The SI units of length is meters. Other units for measuring length are millimeter, centimeters, decimeters, kilometers. You know that 10 millimeters makes one centimeter. That is 10 of this makes one of this. 10 centimeters makes one Then 10 makes one meters. One thousand meters makes one kilometer. With this in mind, you'll be able to convert from various units to another. For example, you want to convert four millimeters to centimeter. Because the millimeter is smaller compared to the centimeter, we are moving forward Therefore, you are going to be dividing by 10. In this case now, 4 millimeters to centimeter will be 4 divided by 10, which is 0 0.4 centimeter. Another example, we want to convert 5 centimeters to meters. We have the centimeter here, we have the meters here. 10 centimeters will give us 1 decimeter. Why 10 decimeters will give us 1 meter? So in this case, to arrive at 1 meter, we are going to multiply this 10 by 10 to give us 100, meaning that 100 centimeters is giving us 1 meter. So now to convert this, we are going to be dividing 5 by 100, 5 over 100 to give us 0 0.05 meters. Int on the conversion. Whenever you are converting forward you are dividing if you are converting backwards you are multiplying another example we want to convert six decimeters to millimeters in this case from decimeters to millimeters we are moving backward so we are going to be multiplying by 10 by 10 which is 100 so from this decimeter to millimeters will be 6 multiplied by 100. So this becomes 6 times 100, which is 600 millimeters. That is 6 decimeters is 600 millimeters. In this case also, we want to convert 2 kilometers to centimeters. Here we have the kilometer, here centimeter. The whole of this, 1000, 10, 10, we multiply each other to give us what? hundred or thousand because we are moving backward to a smaller unit its multiplication so we are going to multiply two by one hundred thousand which is two hundred thousand centimeters so two kilometers is two hundred thousand centimeters the SI unit of mass is gram other units are milligrams centigrams, decigrams, kilograms. Just like the previous example, 10 milligrams makes one centigram. 10 centigrams makes one decigram. 10 decigrams makes one gram. And 1,000 grams makes one kilogram. So now I want to convert 5 milligrams to gram. This is milligram. This is gram. Remember, when you are moving forward, what do you do? You divide. So, milligram to decigram, we have 10, 10, 10. That is 1,000. So, whatever you are converting, you are going to be dividing by 1,000. So, this becomes 5 over 1,000. To give us 0 0.005 grams. So, 5 milligrams 
is the same thing as 0 0.005 grams. 3 kilograms to grams. From kilogram to grams, you are moving backward. So in this case, what do we do? We multiply. So 3 kilograms to grams, because it is 1000 grams that makes 1 kilogram, we are going to be multiplying by 1000 to give us 3000 grams. So 3 kilograms is 3000 grams. The HSI unit of measuring capacity is liters. Liters is also used for measuring the volume of liquid. So 10 milliliters will give us 1 centiliter. 10 centiliters will give us 1 deciliter. 10 deciliters will give us 1 liter. While 1000 liters will give us 1 milliliter. So now I want to convert 85 liters to kiloliters. Now, where do we have the liters? This is liters. We want to convert to kiloliters. We are moving forward. In this case, we are going to divide. So 85 liters to kiloliters, we are going to be dividing by 1000. So 85 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.0. 85 kiloliters. Another example: 500 milliliters to deciliters. Where do you have the milliliter? Here, to deciliter. We are moving forward as well, so we are going to be dividing because we are moving forward. So in this case, we are moving forward from milliliter to deciliter. We have 10 by 10, so we are going to be dividing by 10. Multiplying 10, which is 100, so we are going to be dividing by 100 to give us 5 deciliters. The HSI unit of measuring time is seconds. We can also measure time with minutes, hour. Now, 60 seconds makes 1 minute, 60 minutes makes 1 hour. So now we want to convert 4 hours to seconds. 4 hours from hours to seconds. Remember, you are moving backward, so you multiply. So, what are we multiplying with? 60 and 60. 60 with multiplying 60. That means 3600 seconds is 1 hour. Because we are moving from hours to seconds. We are going to we are moving backwards so we are going to multiply by 3600 so 4 hours to seconds becomes 4 times 3600 to give us 4 times 6 24 2 4 times 3 12 plus 2 144 so that is what 14400 seconds is for us now we want to convert 720 seconds to minutes here is the seconds to minutes we are moving forward in this case we'll be dividing because it is just 60 so we'll be dividing by 60 so this becomes 720 divided by 60 which is 12 so 12 minutes is the same as 720 seconds.